Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Fez bringing another commentary, and today's commentary is just, uh, just about what I think half of the world doesn't even know about. Or if you check Facebook or Tumblr, you might know about this. But did you know? Is the main thing I'm bringing in today. Uh, new commentary, new stuff I'm bringing in. Um, promise you guys, and I am. And today's first one goes out to Shrek. Did you know Shrek was modeled after a real person? As you're looking at this picture, you're like, what the heck, bro? Oh my god, that looks so real. Well, yes, it is real. Um, you guys might think, oh yeah, it is fake. No, it's not fake. It's real. Uh, I didn't believe at the beginning. Uh, I didn't Google it. I didn't search it up. I trusted, you know, if did you know is a lie, then you guys just tell me right now. I do not care if it's a lie. I'll just continue the series. I'll be like, oh, this is a lie. But uh, it's an amazing lie. Just saying. So yeah, Shrek uh, modeled after a real person. Well, they did do a good job, straight up. Uh, but after the print Princess. I don't think the princess looks like Shrek at all. So they just did not go well with the movie, I could say. Um, but the girl in the left side does look kind of hot. Um, not saying anything. So you know, you should look hot. But still, but still, it's like a. Uh, 20,000 years ago, I don't know, maybe, I don't know how old this picture is, but it looks like in the 19 something, 20s, 50s, I don't know, but the girl looks freaking amazing, I can tell you that, uh, for a guy to fall in love with a girl that beautiful, that has to be perfect, love, that has to be like, oh my god, that is like love, uh, and it's kind of funny, because other facts coming up is not this one, but the other one, or other one after this one, is about love, so, to be honest with you, this is kind of creepy, but amazing to know it is like a true story, to be honest with you. Now, did you know that stress can literally break your heart? Oh, that's us. Broken heart syndrome. Oh my god, they have a syndrome now. Occurs when the bottom of the heart balloons into the shape of a pot. No, well, I was thinking like pot, like turns into weed or something. But no, it doesn't. First up, bottom of your heart syndrome, I mean broken heart syndrome, sounds kind of stupid. Uh, being stressed out. Can you break your heart? It's like kind of say, oh, a girl falls in love, a guy dumps her, she stresses out, bottom flower has to shape like a pot, which is not kind of really good at all. I would hate to have a girl go through that after she, well, she or I break up with her. I would definitely like be like, oh my god, look at what I've done. I've made a heart not turn into a heart, but into a pot. Her heart is now a pot. What is wrong? Ah! I'll be all crazy and shit. Just saying. Just saying, broken heart syndrome sounds kind of creepy. I would not like that to happen to me or any other girl that I know. I would hate to have my friends go through this, to be honest with you, because I've seen a lot of girls break up in my school, and it's kind of like a pain. Uh, I actually have to like nurse them back to health like a dog. I'm just kidding, not really like that, but have to be like, oh, could you just please chill? I do not want you to act like this. Go hug them. Go chill with them. Be like, come on, guys. Uh, he broke up with you. I'm sorry about that. But there are the guys in the sea or fish in the sea or ponds in a lake. I don't know, something like that. But, yeah, you got to tell them to encourage them. You you cannot. I don't want you to suffer with this broken heart. Now that I know this, I have to be like, you're going to have a, a heart look like a pot. And they'll be like, what the? I don't want that to go through anyways. But, yeah, that's going to happen. So let's move on to the other fact, which I am clicking now to know. It Did you know that Bill Gates, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, and Steve Jobs are all called dropout? Well, that's not surprising. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, they're all amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, they are Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you very much for Facebook. You did a really good job. We all love Facebook a lot. Uh, to be honest with you, thanks Bill Gates for creating softwares uh, and the computer. Uh, and thanks you, Steve Jobs. Uh, rest in peace, guy. You're amazing. Uh, you created Apple. You're an amazing guy. We all love you um, very much for what you've done for us. Um, thank you very much uh, for all the Apple guys out there who are watching this. Yeah. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, thank you. You created Facebook, which helped me out a lot, communicate with people around the world uh, and, and in my hometown, Trinidad and Tobago. Bill Gates, software, amazing. You did an amazing job. We all love you. We all love you very, very much. Um, thank God you're still alive. And you guys are all like, rich guys, which we all love, right? Uh, well, next one. Well, not right next one. Uh, okay, let's move on to the other one. Later, guy. Well, that's going to take up too much time. I need to move on, right? Move on, move on. Now we're moving on to the other one, and yes, this one is extremely long, and I'm thinking about, no, I'm not going to read it, but I have get the feedbacks, that kind of psych kind of thing, I did, uh, but yeah, what this is really trying to say, if you personally fall in love, uh, you get all that freaking nerves and all that shit running body and all that shit, it's like getting high from cocaine, so if you're falling in love, then positively, you've been freaking 
high, which is kind of cool. So everyone who has fallen in love, you have been high. Yes, you've been told. Yes, you should be happy about it. Um, go smoke some weed now and see how that feels compared to how you fall in love. Uh, you should try it. Just go try it. I would not doubt this. Uh, if people go through like science and all kind of stuff to be like, oh well, the metabolism um, makes you extremely smart or some oh, I don't know some crap like that. I, I'm not a genius, not a smart person, and can't even understand half the words they wrote on this one. So you guys read this. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, amazing job with all the complicated. Words. What what's with doctors making extremely hard words to to try to say it's kind of creepy isn't it not they're like oh, haha i only i can say this now you guys can't say it right and they like come back 20 years you're saying it wrong well why the hell do you make it that hard to say uh, i'll be like that just just saying if doctors really did that then come on guys you guys are not cool for doing that uh okay so let's move on to another one since i have more time in this video uh goes on a little bit longer uh well did you know if you're looking at this in 1980 the coyote finally caught the roadrunner. Yeah, wow, that is amazing. And the picture says, okay, wise guy, you already want me to catch him. Now, what do I do? Okay, so he's actually asking the public, what should we do? Um, what would you do to catch the, the freaking roadrunner? Uh, I used to love watching this when I was younger. Amazing, amazing series. But seriously, the coyote actually caught him. I, if I was a coyote, I'd like hire Iron Man or some crap like that to catch him. Uh, I think there was a meme on that. But yeah, Iron Man would be a definitely good idea. Or someone who runs fast. Oh yeah, that little rat that runs fast. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know his name. He's like Hispanic. He's like, hey, senor. Yeah, like he talks like that, and like he's all over the place, runs all over it. Andre, Andre, Andre. That's how he talks. I don't know why he says that, but he says that. Uh, and he runs really fast. I would hire the coyote, should have hired him. I think he did to uh, actually catch a roadrunner. Roadrunner was freaking funny. He went beep beep like you. That was like crazy ass shit. But finally, he actually caught him in 1980. That's that's freaking. That's freaking amazing. I bet like when he caught him, he's like, oh, finally, I could sit down and enjoy some bird now. Thank you, God. I don't know. Some crazy stuff like that. But to be honest with you, um, they actually, in the, in these cartoons, you see like him get blown up, fall off a building, all that shit, and not die. That was amazing stuff. Uh, I liked, I want to try it once, to jump off a building and not die. Yeah, I would not have thought that went well. I watched uh, Good Guys or Something Guys, that movie that came out when the two fell off the building like yeah you're really stupid not smart at all uh well that's all for today uh brought out five today uh, according to how long the video is is how long i'll do uh, the amount i'll do right so yeah that's all i gotta say uh but uh, no, well you guys should subscribe to me thank you very much for watching um this gameplay uh was amazing uh i had my boy skill in this gameplay um, you could go check him out on my channel um, on people you should you would love to meet kind of stuff uh, I went like 56 and 12 or something like that. I don't not know the score exactly, but I might post it uh, uh, Thank you guys for watching you guys are amazing crowd uh, amazing to keep around go check out the guys on Facebook For what they do every day. They create these amazing did you know stuff or on tumblr? I know where you do find them on tumblr, but it's worth saying thanks and uh, peace out later guys. Love you